Attention, the act or state of applying the mind to something. A condition of readiness for such attention involving especially a selective narrowing or focusing of consciousness and receptivity. I'm sure you're familiar with the saying, where our attention goes, energy flows. When I first heard this saying, I never really gave it much thought. Really, I categorized it as just another cute but meaningless saying. But given some deeper thought and breakdown, this statement is actually giving you a clue on how we create our own reality. Ask yourself, what do I think about majority of the time? Then look at your surroundings and congratulate yourself even if you don't like what you see. Whether you like it or not, our thoughts are energy and they are the steam engine of creation in our lives. Here's something even deeper. Not only do our thoughts create our own personal reality, but they also feed into the creation of the collective reality. Let's use a trip to the DMV as an example. The day before, what pops in your mind? I'm dreading this trip to the DMV tomorrow. The morning of, what happens? Alarm clock goes off, and as soon as you wake up, you feel that pit of anxiety sitting in your stomach. As you're getting ready, you cut yourself shaving. Then what's the next thought you have? It's going to be a long day, and it's only 7.30 a.m. Now you're on your way out the door. What happens next? You can't find your keys. At this point, we all know what's going on. The frustration is really beginning to set in. You finally find your keys and you're on the road, but you get stuck in morning traffic. Now the anxiety builds around the thought of how long could I possibly be stuck in traffic? You finally get to the DMV after sitting in traffic for 40 minutes just to go six miles. And then you see the line at the DMV. You take your number and you're told it's gonna to be about a two hour wait. What do you think your thoughts are at this point? What happens next is pretty much the worst DMV experience you've ever had. That two hour wait has just extended to a three hour wait. Finally, your number is called, you get to the front desk, only to be told you don't have the proper documentation needed. That document you actually need is actually left on your dresser at home. Now you have to come back. A couple of things we can take from this. First, this day is of your creation. From the moment you thought about how dreadful that trip to the DMV is going to be, this thought was then carried into the day of when you woke up anxious about your trip to the DMV. You've put momentum into your creation of a terrible experience at the DMV. All from your thoughts. This day was your creation, all derived from a thought. If I tell you that we are that powerful, would you believe me? The second thing that deserves our attention is the role we played in the collective vibration of the DMV. I want to draw your attention to how the DMV feels energetically speaking. Pretty heavy feeling when you walk in. Ask yourself, what is that? Pay attention to the misery on the faces of the people who are standing in line with you. Looks like they pretty much had a similar morning to that of yours. I wonder if the night before, if they had some similar thoughts of dreading their trip to the DMV. Better yet, look at the workers at the DMV. Think about what their thoughts are like every night before they have to go to work the next day. You have to do this once a year. They have to live this five days a week. I want you to wake up to the idea that we have control over our reality. This is not what you have been taught, but if you're a human being, You are pre-qualified to know this. It's a combination of your thoughts and your feelings along with similar thoughts and feelings of those who are standing in line with you and those who obviously love their jobs at the DMV that are creating that dense vibration you feel. It's energy. My intent is to shed light on how powerful you are and that not only do we create our own reality day by day, scenario to scenario, but Each and every thought creates an outcome that not only affects your life, but also is responsible for the current collective thought we live in today. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to be diving much, much deeper in the future on topics just like this. Stay tuned. 
www.unplug-yourself.com. Thanks. One love.